Welcome to Thursday Night Vespers. I'm glad to see you here as we quiet and calm our minds headed into the evening of rest and relaxation. As we get ready to hear our scriptures, let us take three deep calming breaths together. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ, his Son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. Give thanks. Proverbs chapter 16, starting at verse 14. A king's wrath is a messenger of death, and whoever is wise will appease it. In the light of a king's face, there is life, and his favor is like the clouds that bring the spring rain. How much better to get wisdom than gold? To get understanding is to be, cho is to be chosen rather than silver. The highway of the upright avoids evil, those who guard their way preserve their lives. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. It is better to be of lowly spirit among the poor than to divide the spoil with the proud. Those who are attentive to a matter will prosper and happy are those who trust in the Lord. The wise of heart is called perceptive and pleasant speech increases persuasiveness. Wisdom is a fountain of life to one who has it, but folly is the punishment of fools. Luke chapter 11, starting at verse 37. While he was speaking, a Pharisee invited him to dine with him. So he went in and he took his place at the table. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not first wash before dinner. Then the Lord said to him, Now you Pharisees clean outside of the cup and of the dish, but inside you are full of greed and wickedness, you fools. Did not the one who made the outside make the inside also? So give for alms those things that are within, and see, everything will be clean for you. But woe to you, Pharisees, for you tithe mint and rue and herbs of all kinds and neglect justice and the love of God. It is these you ought to have practiced without neglecting the others. Woe to you, Pharisees, for you love to have the seat of honor in the synagogues and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces. Woe to you, for you are like unmarked graves and people walk over them without realizing it. Friends, thank you for joining me for Vespers again. I always love this time where we can 
listen to the word of our Lord together as we end our day and look forward to hopefully a restful night. As we close out our time together, I invite you to pray with me by repeating after me. Dear God, thank you for this day. Watch over me as I sleep and help me to be your child tomorrow. In your name I pray, amen. Good night, friends.